Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So we're doing an art journal page today. I just am going to play. Uh, I'm doing this as a request for quite a few people have asked about using um, makeup sponges and, and sponges that you kind of cut in half that you get from the dollar store. I mentioned it in a previous video and quite a few of you wrote and asked um, to see, you know, and, and how would you do it? Well, there's a million ways to do it, but I'm going to start off most of the requests were with acrylic paint. Now you can do this with your ink pads and everything. And if you want a video on that, you can uh, let me know down below, or you can email me. All my uh, information is in the description, like right below, you click it, and it'll have where you can find me all over social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, um, email, uh, you know, that kind of thing. If you want to join my Patreon, which I am redoing, um, somebody gave me a very good, um, suggestion. So, uh, I'm going to email individually you guys and ask you guys what you think about it. But what I would like to do is be able to do shout outs for people who are uh, supporting me on Patreon or run uh, you in the beginning credits or the after credits to show you that I really, really do appreciate you. I know some people don't dig that. That's okay. Um, I wouldn't do that if you didn't want it. But yeah, so I'm thinking about doing that and I'm changing. Patreon has changed so much. So I, I got a lot of things that I, uh, I'm going to change and want to do. And yeah, so... I, you know, if you want to uh, support me, my link is down below. It'll be at the end of this video in a clickable link, as well as my PayPal, if you would like to support me that way, or my Etsy store. So, and everything's on sale on my Etsy store. That is it. Uh, if you just found me and you would like to be subscribed, you can click that subscribe button down below. Click that notification bell next to it so you can get notified when I upload. And here we go. <laughs> Try to talk fast. Okay, so this is just an art journal page. I am not just sewing it. You can if you choose to. I'm just choosing not to today. And all I have sitting here are some stamps, some different just random stamps I had sitting here. I have a makeup um, sponge that you can get these at the dollar store for like 20 in a pack or something like that. And if you rinse them off when you're done and give them a good squeeze, they don't get hard. So, you know, that's what she said. And then these are like um, sponges that you can get at your dollar store or your grocery store or your Walmart, wherever you go. And then you can cut them into pieces. These are already cut. These come from plaid, but I've used these a million times. I have a million videos on my channel and it is just a squishy sponge material. So there's that. I'm going to use a paint, a tape piece that you know, I have no more tape on. So I'm going to use that, which I love doing. I have a few colors of paint. I have a clear resist. I'm going to show you because that was requested. And I have some little, um, which you can cut out of magazines. These are from the Tim Holtz, um, ideology thing. I don't know if I'm going to use those. I might use this that I used. I'm going by this color scheme and I think a little spray bottle. And I think that might be it. So we will see. Okay, I'm just working on this pink. This is my uh, mat I got from Folk Art. I love it. I use it all the time. Um, I did not remember to move it, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I have two different blues here. Uh, you know, let me just see if I can move this up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is... I hope my light's okay because... It's taking me a minute. Okay, so I'm going to put that. This is colored. Now, usually I'm trying to go through all these older paints. You can see this is very old and loved. This is light blue permanent. Of course, use whatever brand you like. You know I love me and my folk art and my uh, plaid. But, um, of course, use, use whatever you have, whatever colors. That's what this color is. This color is called Brilliant Blue. And I'm going to shake it. And I'm going to hope that some comes out. And I'm just going to. Put that right there. I'm going to move you back. And we're going to do, these are my favorite colors, brilliant yellow green. Y'all know I love me this. And uh, somebody sent this to me, so I'm going to use a little bit of it. And I'm going to put some red out. This is just apple red from Folk Art. And I've been working on a couple commissions, so I have 
these colors that I'm using. So I figured let's put a page together. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do. And the last thing I'm going to do is throw in, this is from Marabou and uh, it's mixed media acrylic mousse and it's a uh, pastel color. I've been using this. It's almost gone. The vanilla, it, the colors of vanilla and it has, it's like a, um, it's a texture paint essentially. And I've been using it and loving it. So I'm going to give it a little squeeze right there. Like I said, I've been using it a lot, so it's almost gone. Okay. So I'm going to start, I think I'm going to do blue blues on the outside. I am going to take some water and you can use whatever you have. Just going to give everything a squirt. Who doesn't love a squirt once in a while? You have to keep it damp. So there we go. Come here, my baby. Come here, my baby. Okay. So now I'm going in. And you can see I cleaned it. It's, you know, let's go in with the lighter one. And I'm just going to do like that. And we're going to layer. Now you can see it's going to soak in a little bit. And again, that's because I don't have gesso on it. It's not the end of the world, but I know a lot of people do like gesso. So gesso it if you want. Uh, maybe we'll do corner to corner to start. This will end up being my gesso. I'll just kind of wipe that off. Now I'll go into this little darker one. And I'm going to turn it around a little bit because I kind of want these edges to be a little bit darker. Take it like that. My dog's going to choke while I'm recording, so, or gag or whatever. You know, it's very humid out. I've tried everything to help my dogs, but it's, they're just, they're gaggy. I can't help it. And if you don't like the word gaggy, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is the uh, clear resist pad, which what it does is I'm going to take a stamp. I'm going to really push it, push it real good. Salt and peppers here. Salt, 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 salt and peppers here. Okay. Okay. And it's moist. Not, I'm not worrying about it all over. And then I'm just going to kind of push it again because we're pushing it real good. Because you really want it to make contact and you can kind of see it there. So I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to put, try to always remember embossing or, you know, anything really, your ink pads. Make sure you always put the lids back because I have been known to let them off. I'm doing my mixed media. I'm doing, I'm having my fun. And then that happens. So. And it's not sticky or anything. But what I am going to do is just throw this heat gun on it. And if you don't have a heat gun to dry, just get your um, hair dryer. And if you don't want have you don't have one of them, then you can look at your thrift stores, your Goodwill. They always have them for a couple bucks. But really, just give it five minutes and dry. Watch, listen to your favorite song. Watch your favorite YouTuber whatever you want to do. It's okay. Be you and have fun. Okay. So now I'm going to take some of this green and you can see I'm just kind of bringing it in and you can see these lines right here and I will show you what we're going to do. Oh, I mixed some blue in there. That's okay. I kind of like that kind of brings that edge like there's no edge now it's kind of blended all right I'm not hating on that and I want to do red because I want to put the heart thing over it if it didn't drop okay come on oh, I'm getting you put you there so you don't drop so I think I'm just gonna go in same I didn't even change And I'm going to blend it a little bit. Now you can, if you want, you can use a, um, you can use water. You can use um, some fluid, uh, what is it called? Blending fluid, that kind of thing. If you have it, that's no problem. And 
Okay, can you see how it's like blended with the green and the blues and that kind of thing? There's nothing wrong with that. It just makes it look a little bit more uniform. Okay, going in with some more blue. Some more light blue. Eons. I'm going to do some more. Where'd my green go? I need some more green. Just a little bit to kind of oh, pop. Okay. I'll just run it there and run it here. Now you can also take, you know, another. Or you could use a paintbrush. You can use whatever you want. I'm just going to kind of blend some of this in. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know why the weather is wreaking havoc on my sinuses, but it is. Okay, now I'm going to dry this because I want this to come up a little more of the green. I really want right here. And the nice thing is if you don't really dig, you know, any of the red or anything like that, don't, you know, you don't have to necessarily use it. So I'm going to take this green. I'm not going to um, wet it like I did previously because I want it a little bit stronger. Now you can see the reds coming through because of the way I'm pushing it. Look, it's okay. I'm just going to kind of easily blend it. Not the end of the world. And that's it. I just, just want to kind of make a page and kind of blend. So I'm going to take this part that has no business with no paint. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on it. And help it blend just the littlest bit. Okay, now I can see these underneath. So let's get a little paper towel. Nope, ain't coming through. So <laughs> screwed that one up, but that's okay. We're just going to continue going because stuff like that happens. What are you going to do about it? Not a gosh darn thing. So you see I'm, I'm spraying. I'm kind of wiping, blending, just helping it a minute. I'm okay with, I'm okay with this, not, not hating on it. So now what I'm going to do is put, so you see, why am I so far up? That's what happens. I start doing things and I'm like, oh, so far up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, so you can do it anyway. It kind of looks like Rolling Stone's tongue, but anybody, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, so now I want to put stamps and I'm going to do the this and I think the blue, but I'm going to lay this here without schmutz all over it. What the heck are you? Clay, of course. Okay. That's all I do is play with clay. Clay and, you know, clay, polymer clay. Okay, Cal. Going to take a paintbrush. I'm gonna leave it dry. I'm gonna tap in, tap tap, and we're gonna. I also joined um, Twitch. Can you let me know down below anybody who has Twitch? I'm knitting in things. It's uh, knitting. K n i t t i n g n t h i n g s. Knitting in things. Anybody want to come follow me on Twitch? Cause I'm gonna start. I think doing live on there. I don't know. We'll see. That's what I, I signed up. That's what I'm hoping for. 
think it's what I'm going to do. Okay, so you see, I just put that on there. I'm not caring whether this is upside down, down, up, whatever you call it. And we're going to see if it will show up. And it does. Now I can take it. I can put more on or I can just turn it upside down. Give it a nice push or a smush. Boom. And you see, you just want this kind of like thing going around like you know what i mean like you don't need to have you're not going to want to read it like oh what's this say not important okay so then what i'll do is i'll rinse this brush and let's do some let's do some red dry your brush because you really don't want your brush to be wet you're gonna just kind of take it in there and come on come on oh it might need more it might come up pink Let's see. I never clean my stamps. That's probably my issue, but I'm just going to do that. Okay. Okay. Oh, I like it. Okay. All right. Just a little bit down there. Just a little bit. And a little bit there. I'm good with that. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to dry. I gotta ask what brush this was before because I always use it at sitting. It is a plaid folk art one stroke stroke Donna Dewberry scruffy brush. Jeez, I should have known that. I never used it this long though. Um, I usually have the smaller scruffy brushes like this, which you could tell is very loved, very, very loved. So yeah, so that's okay. So why do my cats and dogs like to play in here? As as I, I'm in here all morning by myself. I get on here and it's like, oh, I hear her talking. Well, let's go. Okay. Now, I want to figure out, I probably would save this maybe for an ATC card. I'd have to cut it down because I would want it like red in there and I could put it right in the middle. Hmm. Either that or I'm going to do a little boy or a girl or twins or small little girls <laughs> or her. Now, me, on a certain days, would probably like to do all of them at once, but I'm not going to do that, so I have to figure out, do I want these or do I want this? Mm hmm. I wonder if I did. Oh, how cute. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know yet. I do like the twins, and I thought maybe I'd like do little wings on each side. Maybe I'll do that. One never knows. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of black, and this is just um, licorice from Folk Art. And I'm just going to give the little a squeeze. I like that. I think I'm going to use these, 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 and let's just go in. I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to pull a little bit of it out, but I don't need to wet it unless I want to. Now, I like the graphic that black does on things, but, you know, it's totally up to you. So maybe we'll do it here. And I'm going to go over everything that I did, but you can see it's going light, so I don't need a lot of it. Okay. It's just adding an extra layer. Really, that's what we're doing is mixed media, right? So if you want to be, you know, you want to go and put this on uh, all over or in certain ways or patterns, go ahead. It's your thing. Do you boo? Do you boo? It's 
So I'm going to just, oh, nothing's coming on. Good, good. Now, like again, if you want to clean these, you can just spray some water on them while you're sitting here to leave them wet until you're done. You can then pat them off. It won't matter. Um, you know, I don't do anything, but that's just me. Now I'm going to tell you, I, I wish I would have just kept this green in a sense. I do like the color, but, um, because it didn't come out. No, I could have gessoed. It would have been brighter. So no, if you gesso, it will come up brighter. It will. Um, and these are acrylic paints. These aren't ink. So these aren't, um, like, uh, ink pads or anything like that. Right. Which you'll get a different kind of thing with it. And I'll do another video on that. But I mean, you know, not be it for a background. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these two right here. I'm going to use my glue stick, which I love these Elmer glue sticks. I don't so much love the company because they don't like to answer questions or um, help a sister out when they become, these become moldy. Okay, thanks for telling us that's what they said. And I'm like, do you even know how much glue I go through <laughs> of white school glue and this? People always ask me, do a, do a thing where you say like the best companies and the worst. And honestly, I don't deal with a lot of companies. Um, I've dealt with Blitzy uh, quite a bit and they're very, you know, they write back and, and only one time and it must have got bounced back on my fault, not theirs, because they forwarded the original that they sent me, but you know, let's do it kind of, I don't want it in the center. There we go. And what I do is when I use the glue sticks, I'll just take and just kind of wipe it or wipe around. So you don't get some of that on there. So if you're going to draw or add paint, it doesn't act like a resist because it will resist. Is it the biggest deal in the world? Nah. Hmm. Let me show you so far, but look how cute. What I love is the contrast between the, the bright colors and uh, kind of like black and white. Uh, one thing I do like to do, and I didn't do one on here because I know a lot of people don't like it, is when I like push all this color back with some white. And I was going to do it with the uh, acrylic mousse or white um, acrylic paint, but I decided I won't do it this time. But what I do is I water it down and I put it on and then I wipe it off. So it kind of makes everything muted and kind of pushed to the back. And then I'll layer on top of that as well. But I'm not going to do that today. So I did this. Now what I think I'm going to do is find my gel pen. And I'm just using the, what are you, honey? The Sig, Signo Rollerball, Uniball, Uniball. I don't even know if you'll be able to see. No, it's going to be blown out. This is what I usually use. And if you're, you know, if you want, you can kind of uh, sketch it out if you want, but I'm just going to do whatever. You can do a heart on the side to make it as wings. So I'm just going to add a wing there. Now here's might go off the uh, page or not gonna do that and then always wipe this off the sides no matter what you do and then where's my white paint where's my white paint what did I do with my white paint I don't know I'll just use just because that's what I have sitting here and the Lord only knows what happened to my white paint. And I'll just use one of these brushes sitting here. And I'm going in with gesso. And I'm just going to paint. Again, you can use your white paint. You can use your beige paint. You want, maybe you want black wings or red wings or a red, you know, if you do heart, maybe you want a heart. I might 
trace this in black, the wings. Come on, are we going to come out today or are we just going to play in there? Maybe I dropped my weight on the floor. Who knows? Let's just do a little squeeze there, shall we? Okay. It's just gesso. You can see how wonderful it is. It just covers all that background. Now, because the um, acrylic paint is dry, it's not going to come through. It's permanent once it's dry. If you use your ink pads and they're not permanent, they can, you know, like dilutions or anything like that, sometimes it'll come through. More often than not, it'll come through. But I don't know. I think it just kind of adds to it. There we go. And you can put as many coats as you want. I don't care that it looks a little bit like that because um, it just gives it like texture. Oh, you could do in this. You can do whatever you want in these. Let me just get this bad boy done. Okay. Give that a little bump there. And I mean, they got little wings. How cute. They share wings. They share haircuts and they share wings. How cute is that? Then you can even take your stamps with your letters and do a, um, maybe a quote or something like that, or a quote about sisters. I have horrible handwriting. So for me, I, you know, I don't know, but, uh, you definitely could. And why not? Why not find a nice little quote? You can do this on an ATC card. If you have smaller ones of these, which I know in these they do. But, I mean, how cute would this be on an ATC card? I might have to do an ATC card. Um, but, yeah, so you can definitely, um, you know, do. I'm just going to do this. One more time. Yeah. Perfect. And then I'll just rinse my brush off like I always do. I love using these water brushes there's i don't think there's any water in this one but it doesn't matter because i'm just using the brush i really didn't want it to uh i think i need to refill that because i've been using them so yeah so like you can put you know like a quote you can cut it out of a magazine like letters put it on you can stamp it you can handwrite it you can do whatever you want so i'm gonna find a page I don't know what exactly that page is. How about we do this? And I'm going to just take this gesso and so it doesn't go to waste. None of the paint, none of the white, none of the black. Just to kind of start it for if I do something else. Okay. I like doing that. I don't know. But anyway, so that's it. I just wanted to show you real quick, just a really quick background. And like I said, using, you know, something that you might print out uh, from your computer, or if you print it out or rip it out from a magazine, or maybe you have these sitting around. Um, yeah. So that's it. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Let me know down below what you guys think. And if you would be so kind to share my videos, I'd appreciate it. And yeah, I just love you guys. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Um, I just love you guys so very much. And I really, I really don't know. I, I just do. I just do. I just do. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will see you guys in my next video. Remember progress, not perfection. Like I said, I could have done my handwriting on there, but lately my hands have been so bad that uh, handwriting is just not what I should be doing. So I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.